It's no secret that using design templates can save you a ton of money and time, but sometimes it can be tough to decide where you're supposed to change something or what you're supposed to delete or what you're supposed to replace it with. So in this video, I'm showing you the most efficient way to change and edit a template in Kittle to make your design process more efficient and so you can focus on things like your business. And hey, if you're new to Kittle, that's our online design tool. You can try it for free using the link in the description. If you don't don't have it already and then you can follow along with me in this tutorial so let's get started all right so let's start out with this template by fancy definitely shout out to fancy if we hit use this design this green button I want to show you a way that we can customize this template so with this text I want to click in and I want to make it a little bit smaller so I'm gonna put nebula and then when I click out you can see here now we have a bit of a problem it doesn't stretch all the way to the left and right of the frame here which is how the template has been designed but there's an actually an easy way to fix this so if I select this then we want to be on the lookout for this variable setting here so then if I stretch the variable setting and I just make this slider go up like this boom just like that now we have actually customized the template correctly and we don't have all that space on the left and right and now what I can do is just move my arrow keys around if I want to or I could edit the transformation to make sure that the alignment is correct so moving on here is a template by the man himself Tobias Saul so let's use this design and now we're going to make a word that's way too big so we're gonna change black ink to actually say dark wizard uh, like this and so when I click out you can see it's it's on the transformation sort of but we would really have to tweak it to get it to be correct so this one is a little bit uh, tougher if you're just doing it like that and you're gonna click in and leave it like that but there's actually a neat little trick here that I want to show you so to customize this template let's hit command or control Z to go backwards and what I'd like to do is duplicate this so if I hit command or control C and V now I have two of them and I'm gonna tell you why I duplicated it here in a second so let's go to the top one let's put back in dark wizard like this and then the reason we have that one in the back is so that we can see where we need to put this in the template so boom I can just raise this up make sure that's across the top so make sure it's flush with the back text the text that's originally in the template and now what I can do is I can go and edit the transformation of the text and move it up to be on the same line that same curve as the text in the background you see just like that so I'm just using the background text as a guide like this and now I can move all these little anchor points to make sure they line up exactly with the text that was originally in the template that's a super easy way to do it now I can just go here take off the back text or delete it or whatever you want to do and now I can use my little arrow keys to make sure that they're completely formatted correctly here and now all we have to do is maybe do a couple other tweaks so instead of a lion I think we need to do something magic obviously so we have a wizard here we have a dark wizard here uh, doing dark wizard things I guess so let's pick a different icon I think this one right here maybe with the skull and the candles would be cool so let's get rid of the lion head there now let's just do a little bit of tweaking make sure that this fits here in the circle just like that and now maybe what we also need to do is pick some more wizard type colors so if we go over here into the project colors we can easily click one that does match that kind of wizardy looking vibe like this one I like this really kind of teal greenish uh, blue uh, magical looking thing right here and we can even change the skull if we need to so that's an easy way to customize a template that's pretty advanced so now let's go to another one that has a lot going on so let's click use this design from Stefano amazing designer here and now you can see here we have a lot going on we have this arch text and then we have text that's separated from other letters so we have letters that are individual we also have a lot of flourishing that's going on in the background and let's let's just go ahead and, and make this how we want it so let's change this to G and then we're gonna go for grizzly uh, grizzly bear cafe cafe or grizzly bears or whatever so we'll change the C here to B and then we'll change the AFA to airs bit for bears here now so you can see this is just this has just become a mess basically uh, and it's not gonna work with this even if we stretch it out with the letter spacing this font is pretty condensed on itself so really what we need to do here is we need to, we need to look for a different font so let's select all of our letters you can select all of them by holding shift and let's go find a different font so I think if we use sign master pro remember from my earlier example 
The SciMaster Pro is a variable font, so now we have thicker letters here. We could even make them thicker if we want to. Uh, we can size this this part of the bears down here and get it a little bit more uh, in line with each other. Um, and we need to size down the B as well. So just keep in mind when we're, we're editing customizable templates like this, we really do need to do some tweaking to make sure that it's right. So I'm going to zoom through just how... I would I would tweak this around and so it, it can be a super fast process but we want to make sure that we're uh, we're not destroying the template so to speak we're just moving things around to make them a little bit more how we want it these are just tactics like I would move the bear over here like this and now what we can do is grab some of these flourishes if things are grouped together you can double click in and then what I'll do is I'll move these flourishes I'll make them a little bit bigger and all I would do is basically go in double click some areas and make sure that I can make the flourishes a little bit bigger like this and so you can see it's starting to come together with just a couple of tweaks with just a couple of uh, moving things around selecting a different font and so now what we can do is actually go and we'll go into bold flourishes sometimes it does help if you know kind of the categories of our flourishings and things like that so if we go in here and we use uh, some of these other bold flourishings which I'll kind of just zoom through here uh, you can create more parts of the template if you need to expand it like I've done here so we've expanded it it's a little bit bigger but that's okay because all we need to do is just make a couple of tweaks like this add a couple flourishes and now it's ready to go just like that now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video